let's uh let's talk a little bit about the Dark Souls. Uh, the third it. Dark Souls game. Yourself and Mary. Mary's currently on the Switcher at the moment, doing a great job. Hit those buttons, Mary. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Uh, <laughs> you guys put up a bunch of really good videos on GameSpot earlier today. Gameplay, uh, sort of features about what's in it. Um, I don't want to delve too much into the exactly what you guys talked about there. Just give it a quick overview of um, what you saw last week at the Dark Souls 3 event and what you're excited about. Sure. Uh, her, Edmund Tran, and I, Tran and I, from uh, our Australia office, we all played uh, the first three hours, roughly. We had four hours, but I think once you beat the third boss, that's pretty much three hours. Hmm. Um, they might change a few things when the game releases in about a month in the US, a little more than a month. Uh, but it pretty much, we got to see how you're specifically traveling throughout the world, how you're leveling up, how you're uh, making your weapons better, how there's no more hollowing. Uh, right. If you're a Dark Souls player, you know what hollowing is. You know, you die, your health starts gradually going down until you can, you know, become human again. Now there's uh, like embers and they pretty much when you die, you lose the flame, uh, the cinder or something, whatever it's called. Uh, I'd have to look back at the article. But and that's essentially just once you beat a boss, it rekindles you and then you your health goes back up or you mm. can find these embers in the world. So that's going to be one of the major mechanics. Um, the world itself is actually pretty fragmented. Um, each area is pretty like labyrinthine, and it's very still much uh, a lot to explore and everything, which is exciting because that's you know those games are never giving you too much direction. Yeah. But now there are areas you can't just get to like in, you might in an open world. You have to actually go to the to a bonfire to fast travel. In previous games, oh right, the bonfire not all connected. Right. Yeah, they yeah. facilitated fast travel. Now that they're necessary right. to travel, um, you still go back to the Firelink Shrine. I know a lot of people didn't love the hub world in two. Uh, for them, unfortunately, it's back. Um, Same as Bloodborne. That's kind of the way they do it now, right? You have your yeah, level. going back to the Hunter's Dream, and then mm. you have to go back out and up into the overworld. Um, but yeah, overall, we got to pick whatever class we wanted. I went with the warrior just in the interest of beating the third boss. Um, Mary went with the sorcerer, and Ed went with the thief. So mm. we got to try out a few different things. We have videos of all those. Um, the three bosses are really uh, varying in you know scale and like how you fight them. First one was just a tutorial, kind of a knight uh, with leaping attacks and a spear and whatnot. The next one, um, Vort, I think, V-O-R-D-T, I don't know. Hmm. He He's more of a, like a four-legged dashing. You have to do a lot of side dashing, kind of stay between his legs. Yeah, I saw that like video. A weak spot. Yeah, like Mary, yeah, Mary has a nickname for him. I, it escapes me right now, but sure. um, yeah. Uh, and then the Post third boss the was comments. gigantic. Um, it's like this something... Uh, rotted tree or something and mm. he he's so angry like, molesting tree yeah he's so <laughs> fat that he can't really attack you he just falls on you he tries <laughs> to like land all his weight on you and there's specific bulbs on his body or you have to keep hitting and there's uh it was just the, the three bosses i fought were all different in their own way and does it have that like s amazing feeling when you meet bosses that it did in dark souls one and two though or is this like it's great that this series has become so popular but is it having that same effect yeah, it's still it's still pretty difficult. Um, I think the other people at the event were having much more trouble with the third boss than I was, but right. the second boss is the one that took me a while. I think Mary and I, that was our hang-up. The third one I killed in the second try, but maybe that's because I was, again, the warrior is much more damaged, so I was kind of, you know, I had the advantage there. Mm. But, uh, yeah, no, they I was still exhilarating to kill them, and then, you know, you get... You go back to Firelink Shrine, and can you get new upgrades from killing these bosses and whatnot, and, yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm excited to see more. I can't really speak to the quality of, obviously, the overall game yet, mm. but of those first three or four hours I played, it's very, it's looking promising, so yeah, we'll see well, what happens. We'll see some gameplay here, which you guys recorded. What are you playing on? What, what console? Uh, that was on Xbox One this oh, time. Okay. I think we played on PC last year when we had that preview event. Right. Uh, it looks good, actually, here. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks good at the demo, for sure. Was the PC version looking noticeably better, or was it because they've um, had trouble with PC ports in the past? Well, the PC version I played was back in August right, or so, okay. so I I don't know. I'm sure it's um, made. They've made progress with it since then. Mm. Uh, I, I remember it looking fine in August. Was it locked at 30 frames per second back then? Uh, I don't know. Because that was the deal with the first two games on mm. PC. Oh right. Uh, I don't know. I think our. I don't know. I'd like have to got, look. I'd have to look back at our so videos. As well. We do have yeah, a video from August yeah. 2015. Um, they should just hire that one guy. 
we did all that lighting stuff on it. Uh, so uh, tell me about some of the new stuff in it then as well. I know the, the weapon arts has sure. been added in. It's kind of like Bloodborne-esque where the weapons kind of have alternate uses. Yeah. Is there a new like currency for this or a new like ammunition almost for this? Um, yeah, so that's what another thing we got to see. Uh, they're called F. P points. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that stands for. Fruit I tried punch. Figuring, fruit yeah, fruit punch <laughs> points. It's the blue. It's like a mana bar. Um, and the cool thing is, you you know, you have typical Estus flasks for your health, yes. and then you have uh, like the FP flasks. And when you go to the blacksmith, you can allot more uh, slots to to one or the other. You have four total slots, so okay. I could just say I don't use ma- uh, weapon arts at all. I'm just gonna go four Estus flasks. Or you, if you're a sorcerer, like Mary, would m- maybe be one to consider this because she uses the magic. She could just say. You know, I want one Estus flask as the last resort, but I'm just going to go three of the mana flasks. Mm. So it kind of is that risk reward thing, or just tailoring to your play style. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to just manage how much, how many FP points you have until the next bonfire, until you kill the next boss, because once you're out, you can't use weapon arts. Mm. Um, and each that those play a big part. It's uh, Dark Souls' answer to Bloodborne's trick weapons. You know, oh, you could yeah. like extend the saw blade or turn the uh, the put the sword into the Kirk hammer. Um, these ones you you switch essentially to like a two handed grip and then uh you know the battle axe is like this war cry it just uh, damage buff mm. or uh you know you can kind of the long swords actually have these specific attacks that might do more damage to uh, certain enemies if you you know they take thrusting damage more yeah, look at or a spear, blunt damage just spearing people ah! yeah I think that's an assassin no that's a hell. There is a herald. A herald, sorry. You Get your yeah. Dark Souls three yeah. terminology right, bro. Yeah, so man. that's a herald. Uh, I have not played it yet. We do have, yeah, we have footage of all the weapon arts as awesome. you're seeing now. But yeah, it's it it definitely feels like a Dark Souls game with Bloodborne influ- influences, mm-hmm. but still its own separate entry, which is why I'm optimistic about it but again we'll have to see when we get the game excellent yeah in a month's time or so yeah. we are actually going to get the japanese version so we can play it early oh right comes out march 24th in japan and cool. then april 12th yeah everywhere else right so wow that's actually a, i didn't realize it was that much of a distance yeah. between the two of them yeah weeks. wow <laughs> yeah. week after gdc it's probably a good idea it's oh, not God. the week off gdc uh cool awesome mike mahardy thank you so much and uh, yeah if you're a fan of dark souls do you want to see more of that stuff make sure to go to gamespot.com mike and mary put up a bunches of sweet videos go check them out